For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem in which you have to determine the resultant force and specify where it acts measured from A. Now in this problem we have two uh, triangular distributed loads. So you got this one. And you got this one. So remember, you know that the force for each distributed load, let's call this one F1 and let's call this one F2. If you want to know where they act, they act one third, one third from the long edge. And this is also one third from the long edge. So as you can see, the first triangle has a length of three meters and one third of three meters, it's uh, one meter and a is actually right here so negative one meter and f2 acts a one third of six meters which would what's one third of six meters is two meters that's where the two forces act so let's find them f1 is equal to six kilonewtons per meter times the distance which is three meters divided by 2 because it's a triangle and the area of a triangle that's as given length times width divided by 2 so 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2 is 9 kilonewtons F2 is given by um, 6 kilonewtons per meter 6, this 6 right here times the length which is 6 and it's a triangle so it's divided by 2 to find the area 6 times 6 is 36 divided by 2 is 18 kilo newtons now that we got the two forces let's find the resultant force which is the sum of the forces and it's f1 plus f2 let's say going down is positive since they're all going down so 9 plus 18 is equal to 27 kilo newtons that's the resultant force now let's find the moment that they create about a let's say clockwise is positive so as you can see f1 is cr creating a counterclockwise uh, moment and f2 is creating a clockwise moment so f1 is negative minus f1 times the length of the lever arm that is turning which has a magnitude of one meter one plus f2 because it's creating a, a clockwise moment f2 times the lever arm that is turning which is two meters so um, f1 is minus 9 times 1 which is minus 9 plus f2 which is 18 times 2 which is 36 so the moment comes out to be 27 kilo newton meters moment about a going clockwise now if you want to know where it acts then you know that the moment is equal to the result the resultant force times the distance where it acts is it going to be to the left of a or to the right of a it's going to be to the right of a because the moment is positive therefore it's going clockwise since it's going clockwise it has to be to the right of a so the moment of a is 27 fr is 27 d is the variable we're trying to find so d is equal to one meter to the right of a final answer final answer for the moment final answer for the resultant force please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you